with the Redskins offensive line, you don't know what you've got till it's injured. The last time the Washington Redskins offensive line made this much news, it was the preseason, and you were trying to decide whether the unit was hibernating or overrated. Two months later, four all line starters and two backups are injured, and you can't imagine how the team can survive if it's now underrated blocking behemoths limp around for too long. Such is the eternal burden of the most essential yet invisible position group in football. For those players, anonymity comes with success. And publicity comes with. Uh oh. Cover your eyes. It's usually something bad. Three ominous news topics, tweets, medical disclosures and offensive lines. If any of those things are being covered, they aren't likely to produce uplifting stories. During this week in Washington season of wild fluctuation, you actually might be following tweets about the ailments of offensive linemen. It's cruel trifecta. And you probably won't know until Sunday whether some of these players will be ready for the Dallas Cowboys. Left guard Sean Lalvao is the only starter not on the injury report. The others, left tackle Trent Williams, knee, center Spencer Long, knee, right guard Brandon Scherf, knee, and right tackle Morgan Moses, both ankles, hope to contribute something Sunday. But what they can provide will be a mystery, especially on what's expected to be a day of heavy rain at FedEx Field. The problems are compounded because the team's best backup tackle, Tyne Sec, has been out for several weeks with a core muscle injury. And backup guard Tyler Catalina is recovering from a concussion. Sure fingers knee in another blow to depleted offensive line. This would be a bad situation for a team with an awful offensive line. But Washington's group, the self-proclaimed Hogs 2.0, has quietly developed into the most stable aspect of a team that changes week to week. When healthy, Washington has neither an overpowering strength nor a fatal weakness. It uses the whole roster to figure out a way. On offense, that wouldn't be possible without a line this versatile and competent. Why should you be fretting these injuries? It's not just because there are so many at once. It's because these linemen form a really good unit that makes Washington work, and the thought of losing personnel, for any period, is devastating. This is definitely the best group I've been a part of in the NFL, Williams said. We've been together for three years, pretty much, and we continue to get better, and we're still a young group. We still have a very high ceiling. Coach Jay Gruden has referred to Hogs 2.0 as one of the NFL's best O-lines, and his praise is often met with skepticism. The linemen still struggle against aggressive, pass-rushing defenses, which Philadelphia exposed in two games this season. They're not a dominant, will-imposing line, as their struggles on third and short situations have shown. Williams is a great player, and Scherf is among the best at his position despite his critics. Long. Moses and Lavau are role players with limitations. But when the unit is evaluated, it is often according to the same old standard of overemphasizing what goes wrong and failing to appreciate the subtleties of what the players do right. Gruden's claim isn't supported by perfection. It gains merit because of how the line leverages its four strengths, continuity, versatility, athleticism and the coaching of Bill Callahan. Washington doesn't have a Bell Cow running back. The wide receiver production has been pitiful. Nevertheless, through six games, it has averaged 369.8 yards, eighth in the NFL, by emphasizing different matchups from week to week and spreading the wealth. The offense tries to mask its weaknesses by being more mindful than ever to play to strengths of its weapons. The players' limitations would seem dramatic if everyone were asked to execute most of the playbook. But when the offense is tailored to them, they are effective in small doses. Only the Bears and Bills are using wideouts less than the Redskins. To do that, you must have a line that can handle the offense's multiple personalities. That's what this line does best. It isn't great in many areas, but it's solid at just about everything. So the coach's scheme for versatility. I think this year we've been specializing more than I've ever seen since I've been here, said running back Chris Thompson who leads the team in rushing yards, 213, and receiving yards, 366. We all have different skill sets, 
and Jay has been able to really run everything he wants to run. In the run game, we have toss plays. We've got the misdirection. We've got the power plays. We've got the gap plays, which is a lot of times just some downhill duo plays. He's been able to get a good feel for us, and he understands we can handle that well. Gruden says he can do that because of his offensive line. The good thing about us is our offensive line is very athletic and very versatile, and they can do the zone blocks, and they can do gap trap pull game, Gruden said. Not a lot of lines can say they have the athleticism and the size to do both. They're very smart also. So, it's a great luxury to have. When you can put in 12-15 different types of run concepts, your draws, your duos, your gap traps, your outside zones, your inside zones, your one back powers, your two back powers, your counter loads, and those guys can handle it, I mean, it's crazy. Said tight end Vernon Davis, this is one of the most athletic offensive lines I've ever seen. These guys can move. Sometimes, when the offense is marching down the field on a long drive, Gruden said he will look at his call sheet, laugh to himself and think, what the hell should I call now? There are 48 different runs on this thing, and our line can do them all, and they're effective. As the injuries mount, you can see that effectiveness diminishing. In a season already burdened by significant attrition and constant lineup shuffling, the current state of the offensive line is by far the most difficult situation Washington has faced. Even though it seems that Long will be fine and Moses and Scherf dodged major injuries, it's hard to envision Williams making it through the season right now. He said last week he's delaying a surgery that could require a six-month recovery. His skill and athleticism elevates the line from average to good. Trent makes it unique, Davis said. The way he moves, he's like a tight end playing left tackle. It's just a fantastic advantage. It's an advantage that you had the luxury of not noticing until now. For more by Jerry Brewer, visit WashingtonPost.com web link. Read more Redskins and NFL coverage. Mailbag, injuries, injuries and, more injuries. Suspension threat hovering. Elliott focused on upcoming Redskins clash. Preston Smith could miss Cowboys game 